So I'm watching the show Waco with my family right now, and David Koresh really was messed up, man. <laughs> and I don't know how much this show actually depicts what actually happened and all that stuff, but he's the perfect example of being delusional, a, a false prophet, and somebody who twists scripture for their own benefit. Listen, the Bible is not there to make whatever point that we want to make with it. The Bible is not there to prove our political leanings. It's not there to win an argument. It's not there to manipulate others. The Bible exists for one reason primarily, to convict us of our own sin so that we might turn to the Savior. And, and certainly it speaks to culture as well and exposes the sins of our, our day and those kinds of things. And we shouldn't just be okay with the sins of our culture. I'm not saying that at all. And certainly the Bible is the word of God and it's the sword of the spirit. But I think sometimes we take that the wrong way. The Bible is not meant to be a weapon against unbelievers. It's our weapon against spiritual forces that come against us personally. So when Jesus was tempted in the wilderness, he quoted scripture. When we're tempted each day, we better know the Bible. But when we see someone else sinning, if we quote a verse to them, especially if they're an unbeliever, that's not gonna make a difference to them. We can't expect unbelievers to act like believers. Instead, show them God's love. Show them how much of a difference God's love is meant to you. Show them that you have joy and peace and hope that goes beyond anything that they can receive in this life. And people are hurting. And if we use the Bible just to try to hurt them more, we've completely missed the point. Yes, people need to know that they're sinners, but the thing is, we all know that we're sinners. We all know that nobody's perfect. The Bible is not more of the problem. The Bible provides the solution. Jesus died for our sins so that we can have hope and joy and peace in him. So don't be a false prophet that just uses the Bible however you want to use it. Point people to Jesus, the hope of the world. God bless you. We'll see you again tomorrow.